Good morning and welcome back to the Social Stack 66 Day Challenge. Get started in social media. I'm Amy Stack and today is day four of our challenge. I'm going to go over how to make it easier for people to find you on your Facebook business page and then make it easy for them to connect with you by first creating a vanity URL and second a call to action button. Before I do that, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about marketing and social media for business, start now by subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. So that's that red subscribe button followed by the little bell icon. To start today, I have pulled up Laura's business page that we've been working on. And we're going to come over to the left hand column over here and go back into that edit page info button. As a quick reminder, what we're doing, you know, I'm going to go back to her home real quick. What we're doing is we're going to change this URL at the top. So right now it says facebook.com and it's a whole bunch of letters, numbers, you know, random numbers at the end, lots of words. We want to make that short and easy for people to remember. For example, if we go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash the social stack. That was very easy for me to remember and it's nice and clean at the top. The reason you want to do this custom URL is one, it's easy for people to remember, as I just mentioned. Two, it's easy for them to type in. Three, it looks really great on marketing pieces. So if you have something printed, like a business card or a flyer, and you want to put your social media links on there, um, it's much easier to put facebook.com slash the social stack versus facebook.com slash all these words, letters, and numbers. So we want to go in and create that vanity URL. To do that, we're going to hit edit page info on the left hand side once you've logged in. And there's the spot for username here. Now there's 3 million people on Facebook, not, you know, some of them have business pages, some have multiple business pages, some people have the same name. So you might have to try a couple of names before you get one that fits. So let's see what we can find for Laura. So Laura's email is Laura Sells. So let's see if that's taken. Right now it looks pretty good. Got that green check mark. So if I go home, it looks like it didn't take. We saw a little red alert there. Let's see if I hit enter here. And see right here it says it isn't available. Please try again. Let's try her name. So if I hit enter, looks like that's also taken. So you can try a few different times. You know, you might have to try a few um, before you can get through. You can add numbers if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and keep trying some new options. And it looks like Laura Duffacy cells worked. So now that I've hit enter. Got my green check mark. There's no alert saying that won't work. We're just going to go back to her home page, hit refresh, and you can see up at the top left. Now our URL is facebook.com slash Laura Duffacy sells. Nice and easy. Looks pretty. Way less, way shorter than that long URL we had before. So that's it for updating the vanity URL. The other thing I promised to share with you guys today is a way for people to connect with you once they've already come to your Facebook page. You may have noticed that there's this blue button here that says add a button. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And there are a ton of call to actions you can add here. So depending on what your business is and what you want people to do with this button, you would just click the category that is correct for you. So let's say I want to book a, have people give people the option to book an appointment with Laura. I could go ahead and hit book now, and then you get some more options. We can link it to a website, create another tool or use appointments on Facebook. So that's one option. Go ahead and hit that add button again. Maybe I want people to call. So I would hit call now for that. You just type in your phone number. If I want to do contact us, 
I can put in a website, send message, we'll connect them with me right on Messenger through Facebook. I didn't have to update that because that programmed right in, but now that button has changed and it says, oh, I have it set as send message, so if I want to edit that to something else, I want to hit delete button first. And we're going to go back and add button. If I want them to connect with me via email, I can click that. I can hit learn more. You can do sign up if you have a newsletter. You can add your app in here, which actually I think that'd be a really good idea for Laura. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, use app. Okay, so I have copied Laura's app URL. Um, if you have an app, you'll have a, a, a link to it. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And everybody at Keller Williams has an app URL. Um, so you can just go ahead and copy and paste that right in there. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now you can see that the button no longer says add. It says edit use app. So if I wanted to edit that, I can test it. We have the get app users and we have edit button and delete button. So let's go ahead and test it. Make sure it works. This will take me to the page that that link goes to. So you can see here, this is a link to download a page branded to Laura because it's her unique app that gives you information on how to get her app on your phone, whether you want to download it from the iTunes or Google Play. You would just put your own phone number in there, and the website would then send you a link to open it in whichever um, app whichever location you download your apps from. So this is exactly where I want it to go. So I'm gonna close that window and we're all set with that. So today I've showed you how to create a unique vanity URL so people can easily find you on Facebook and you can put your link on promotional materials and it looks nice and clean. It's easy to type in if need be. And I showed you how to update your button Let's go ahead and view that page as a visitor. <clears throat> so you can see when the public comes in, it now has a button here that says use app. So they can click on that, have access to your app, or whatever your call to action was, whether it was downloading an email, I mean, <laughs> going to your email address, giving you a phone number, or giving them an option to make an appointment with you. There are lots of options on that button. So that's all I have for you today. Tomorrow, I want to show you how to start to invite people to like your page. I mentioned earlier that connecting your business page through your personal profile was going to be very helpful for the future. So tomorrow, you'll learn how, you will learn why. Before we do that, I'd love for you to share with me what button you added as your call to action. So go ahead and leave that in a comment. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel and click that bell to get alerts for when new videos are launched. I'll see you tomorrow.